Hey guys, Movie Fan here to bring you a very special video. Not too long ago, I showed you how you can make your own Power Rangers costume. And, uh, well, I mentioned how I got a pair of old leather Renaissance gloves that I had and just painted them white and painted on some blue diamonds. Well, when I wore them at the Comic Con, they served me okay, but they came with a few problems. One, these gloves turned my hands black. Not a good thing. They used to do that a long time ago. I thought they were done doing that, so yeah, enough said there. But to make matters worse, and I was warned about this beforehand, but I just did it anyway. The uh, paint kind of uh, peeled off in a pretty bad way. Even worse, it started to get on. It started to peel off on the blue diamonds here. So yeah, let's, let's take a look at this. I know they warned me, don't use leather paint on leather, because it, it'll just do that. So, lesson learned. If you want to make Power Rangers gauntlets, or gloves, if you will, don't do what I just did. However, I'm not willing to admit defeat just yet, and I actually have found a better way. And I will show you how I made my new Power Rangers gloves. First, you're going to need the following supplies. Gloves, scissors, utility knife, pencil, carpenter square or ruler, paper, measuring tape, poster board, needle, white thread, and th a marker, two white zippers, and blue and white duct tape. First, you want to get yourself a pair of white leather gloves. Now I know, it's almost impossible to find. However, I got lucky. I went to my local O'Reilly's to get something, and by sheer luck, I found these leather gloves. So I bought them. Now that we got the gloves out of the way, next you want to make the cuffs. And this is where the fun really begins. First, measure your arm, on the wrist and on the forearm. This will be your front and your back. When you got your measurements down, grab your carpenter square or a ruler and just draw a line for the front and the back. Be sure to try to curve the back as you go. When you got that done, draw the sides leading to the front and the back. I recommend you do this on a piece of paper first. That way you can get the template down right without wasting any materials. Because my arm is so long, I had to get two pieces of paper and tape them together. Once you got the lines in, cut it out. Fit it to your arm to make sure you got it right. Trace it on your poster board and then cut it out. When you cut that piece out, use it to trace out another cuff. Next, you cover the cuff with white duct tape, both front and back. Do the same for the other cuff. Now, I know you're going to ask me, why am I covering it with white duct tape when it's already white? Well, the duct tape will make it a little stronger, and it should keep my sweat off. Because of the Comic-Con, no matter how well ventilated it is, you're going to get a little sweaty in your costume. Plus, if you overlap the duct tape the way I did, it looks more like armor which is a real bonus. Next, grab your zipper and line the teeth up with the edge of your cuff and duct tape it on the inside. After you do that, you want to sew the edge with needle and thread. That way it doesn't come loose on you. Do the same for the other side of the cuff. Of course, when you do this, you're going to have to have it rolled up and you're going to have to carefully maneuver it as you go. But you can do it. When you're done, do the same for the second cuff. Next, print or draw yourself a diamond shape. When you get the exact diamond shape you want, pull out two pieces of blue duct tape and overlap them right on your workbench. Put the diamond print on the duct tape and trace it. After you're done, grab your square and a utility knife. Carefully line the square up with the lines that you traced and cut it out with the knife. Peel the diamond duct tape off your table, line it up with your cuff, and stick it on. Repeat the process as many times as you need. And when you're done, you got yourself a pair of Power Rangers gloves that you would be more than proud to wear at the Comic-Con. Pretty cool, huh? Look at that. Awesome. And a little tip. If you end up with a gap down here, you could just fill it in with a little piece of uh, white duct tape. Or if you get the zipper to exact length, that's good too. I had a short zipper. But, you know, that was okay, because it gave me a chance to expand if I need to. Because sometimes, you know, you think you got it down pat, and then when you have the zipper all the way down, it turns out to pinch you or be too tight. This way is okay. I'm definitely good with this. I mean, it looks, it's filled in. It's real nice. It's just easy. And the coolest thing is, if you save your template, you can make other ones. So, therefore, you could have Red Ranger, Green Ranger, Black Ranger, Pink or Yellow. And you can just switch them out anytime you want. Simple. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little project, and I hope you give it a try. Believe me, it's very simple, it's a lot of fun, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than uh, ordering online. This is Movie Fan.
signing off.